Hello, hello, Internet. Welcome to my channel. This is my life for hire, and today, ah,、uh, this is another episode of、uh, not a vlog, and I'm gonna talk about my life again. My, my very, very、uh, ordinary, normal life. So, for my work, I need to study Italian. I need to speak Italian much, much better than I do right now. I have to, because there are Italian customers, believe it or not, in Venice, <laughs> and.、Um, I can handle some of the older customers because they speak very slowly, but there always there are always some youngsters, young people, twenty year old people, or teenagers. They speak super fast. They just spit, spit like crazy. Like the the words just roll out like that. I can't catch up, and they don't really consider. You understand them or not? They they just they automatically think you understand them because there are so many、uh, native Italy born Chinese, and I guess they are used to see some、uh, Asian face or、uh, African faces、uh, that that that、uh, speak perfect Italian. So they're used to it. They don't really think. They don't really know that I don't really speak Italian that much. So they speak super fast. I have to understand them, and also I need to improve the way I communicate with them. I need to improve、um, my Italian in order to be able to talk about the product freely as as freely as I do in English.、Uh, I can describe what product product it is, and、uh, maybe give some recommendations, suggestion, and. Chit chat a little bit. All these things are very important in sales.、Uh, when you are dealing with the customers, when, in the, when they are in a store, and、uh, you're trying to convince them to buy something, it's very important. So I have to learn this, and、um, uh, I tried. I, I I I looked up on the the. the Uh, Italian language courses online, and、uh, there are some free ones organized by、uh, different organizations、uh, um, under the leadership of、uh, Comune, the government.、Um, it's a government project. They, they encourage those organizations to organize、uh, lessons for foreigners、uh, to help them to、uh, integrate in the society better and faster. Uh, because there are so many immigrants and refugees and all the stuff, and, and so many people, so many foreign people in Europe right now. So it's an important thing. So they organized all those courses. It's a wonderful thing, but I'm not able to attend them because they are on a very. They always conflict my work schedule. I, usually, I work from Monday to Thursday, sometimes Friday, sometimes work、uh, from Tuesday to Friday, something like that. Uh, these courses are usually on work days, like Tuesday night, Thursday night, like those, and they start from like seven to eight thirty or something like that. And、uh, when I finish work, it's already seven thirty. And when I come back home, it's already eight thirty. And I have to cook and eat a lot of stuff. And when when I got when I get home, and the 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 course has the lesson has finished already, so I'm not able to attend these. Just yet, maybe someday when I have a day off, happen to have a day off on Tuesday, which happens sometimes, I could go there and have a look.、Uh, otherwise,、uh, it's a pretty impossible for me to attend a course because I haven't seen any course organized、uh, on the weekend. Because all those courses, they have volunteer teachers, and somehow they they all have vacation.、Uh, they they have their days off.、Uh, At a weekend, so they don't teach at a weekend.、Uh, anyway, that's it.、Um, but I cannot just give it up, right? I have to do something about it. So I picked up little books here and there and learn a little bit by myself. I also have textbook,、uh, physical book, and also ebook,、uh, and, and also I can look up 
any questions, problem of vocabulary, stuff of grammar, stuff I can look up on the internet anytime. And also, I made a lot of notes. Like these are oh, these are mathematics here. I've written I've written down a lot of words in Italian. Uh, this is vocabulary. Uh, I've written them down like a, a few months ago. I haven't really checked that much, but tonight I just started a new project. It's very important. Um, I proposed to my friend uh, to. To have this lesson with me, to 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 have her to teach me Italian, and uh, I'm gonna pay her, and she's gonna be my private teacher. In this way, uh, I will be more committed. Um, I will, since there's money transaction, it's not like yeah, of course we uh, we could uh, do uh, arrange something like this uh, for free for her for for me. But it, if I don't pay anything, I feel like it's you don't have the obligations to do this thing, and you don't take it seriously. And um, once you do it, once you pay something, it gets formal. It gets uh, there's a formality, and you, you you get serious about it, and you have to take responsibility for the money you spend. You have to take responsibility for the time your friends spend, and everybody takes responsibility. I'm not saying that she doesn't. Take, she's a fantastic fantastic teacher she's wonderful at uh, uh, teaching and uh, she gives it all she takes it super seriously it's it's um um mainly me i cannot uh carry a, carry a uh, keep it up if i don't have a uh, this commitment uh, it's very hard for me to keep it up so yeah it's very important for me to pay something to actually pay something um also, yeah, <laughs> this reminds me of the the scene in Breaking Bad where uh, Saul Goodman was offered to become Jesse and uh, Walter White's lawyer, and uh, he said, uh, "Put one dollar in my pocket, and I will, sp uh, and you can speak to me freely, and you don't have to worry about me writing you out because you have the confidentiality. Once you pay me something, I I become your daughter." one dollar uh, statutory payment something like that it's very interesting yeah yeah i did i just instantly i just thought of that when i was uh, talking with my friend i have a little random thought so uh we plan to do two or three lessons uh, per week we'll see uh, mainly on saturday sunday because i'm free uh, we, we can also try on weekdays I mean, when I'm free. Um, she's still studying, so she she should be free and uh, at night. And today we did a fir our first lesson, our very first lesson. These are all the notes I took here and here. So first I talked about my stuff, uh, talked about uh, my days, my weekend uh, to her, and she listened. Uh, talk about the uh, StarCraft WCS Global Final stuff, and uh, she listened and uh, and and uh, she gave me all those words I couldn't express, the words I didn't know, uh, but I wanted to express, and uh, yeah, important words. Um, I mean those, yeah, very important stuff. I learned this, and then later we we went into some. Uh, what do we do? <clears throat> Some more practice. Yeah, she just we just discussed all those words. It's very interesting new verbs and stuff. Very important words you can use every day. And then she read some news newspaper to me, and I try to understand. It's so practicing my listening skill, but it's very difficult listening to newspaper. Newspaper article is really difficult for me for for now at least. There are a lot of stuff is. Um, for example, like uh, this this article she read to me was about uh, Google sexual assault uh, scandal. But in the beginning of the article, it was uh, talking about that in these past months uh, there are a lot of scandals of inequality, uh, low payment, low salary, and uh, sexual assault, and blah 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 blah. This and that is giving a context. But I was lost. I was like, isn't this uh, supposed to be about uh, Google? But why are we talking about all this other stuff? 
it's actually just giving you a context. So in Italian, I just get confused because、um, the sentence itself is super long and it's not about what I was anticipating. So got me a little bit confused. We we were a little bit slow on this part, but we figure out next time. Anyway, she also left me homework to do.、Um, yeah. So I'm very happy about it. It's a great project, and finally, I'm gonna、uh, learn Italian、uh, in a more formal way.、Um, paid course, gonna pay her. All right. So that's it. I'm gonna go take care of the pasta I'm cooking, and later, what do I do? Read a book, something, something like that. All right. Tomorrow I have to work, so gonna go.